was about five years ago. That's the last time we did Sleeping Beauty uh, here in Texas. Mm -hmm. I had danced Sleeping Beauty and doing many, plenty of different roles before. Um, and I find that this time revisiting the role, it's been a lot of fun being able to go deeper into the character and uh, not worry so much about the stats, even though we have to worry about the stats because it's Sleeping Beauty, obviously. Um, different moments. Just the other day in the studio, I had, um, I just felt different about the role. Just the more you do it, any any part, um, the more you can get into it and explore the steps in a different way. Um, I think all of it is so beautiful. The music is so beautiful. Uh, Tchaikovsky music is just perfect for the ballet. Um, Rosa Dage is definitely the most demanding part and. Um, the very pleasant thing about this ballet is that the hardest part, which is the rose uh, is, is it happens at the beginning of the ballet. And in a lot of other full-length ballets, uh, the hardest part happens at the end of it, or in the third act, or like when you're really exhausted. So the nice part of ballet, Sleeping Beauty, is that you get rose done with, and then you can just enjoy yourself in the second and third act, and get married at the end, and be happy. Forever. Um, so, but Rosa Dash is always a challenge. Uh, no matter how many times you've done it, every day that you do it is kind of you go, it's kind of pottery. You go for it and see what you can get out of it. Um, and some days you get luckier than others. I hope you get lucky. <laughs> so, come and see us the 17th, 18th, 19th of October at Bass Hall.